I got an email asking if I can talk about upgrading the battery pack on a Mallard airplane and I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. One assumption is that the old battery pack was meeting the needs of the Mallard and by upgrading they meant that they wanted to fly for longer periods of time. So bottom line is you need to match the power requirements of the model and that, that means both the voltage and the current and voltage is basically the number of cells. So if you were using a three cell battery pack before, you pretty much need to use uh, the same thing when you upgrade uh, because the motor and the propeller are, are geared in, in a sense towards that voltage and if you change it then it just may, may not work very well anymore. And as far as the current, there's, there's a couple of different ways of figuring out how much current the old system was using. Uh, you can look at the current rating of the uh, speed control. Of course, you can look at the old battery pack and, and see the capacity and multiply it by the C rating and that will tell you, you know, give you a feel. But also the motor, you know, the motors tend to have a, a current rating that they can handle. But I, I think by far the best way is to actually run the, the power system before you upgrade it and use a watt meter and measure, see how much current you're actually drawing. That's, you know, that's really no better way of doing it. So, so once you have those two values, that will tell you how much power the, the model is drawing. And, uh, I mean, of course, you really can't change the number of cells, but you, what you can do is change the capacity of the battery pack. And, and if you, it depends on the model how much bigger you can go. With a lot of models, you can double the size of the battery pack and you're barely going to t tell the difference when it's flying. But on some other models, going a little bit higher can make a big difference. And you know, of course, you know, a 3D model is going to be a lot more sensitive to a weight increase than a Piper Cup model. It's just the, the nature of them. And uh, keep in mind that if you double the, the capacity of the battery pack, you can get away with a C rating that's half what the old battery pack was. And that, that's a nice thing to know because the lower the C rating, the less, the less it's going to cost. So you can save quite a bit of money. Uh, you know, I mean, you can say, oh yeah, okay, I want extra C rating capacity. But most of the time that's going to be wasted money. So I, I, I will just try and size it appropriately. And, and while you're on the market for this bigger battery pack, keep an eye on the connector because battery packs come with connectors and it's nice if you can get one that's using the same connector as the old one. You know, it doesn't have to be, but you know, it's nice if it does. And I uh, hope you found that helpful. Until next time.